call me. Is that a call to action? Everybody agree that's a call to action? I'm not changing this. They've already seen this email twice over the last 30 day period. Okay, what do I want? I want them to call Kevin, period. It's gonna come from Kevin at Kevin's email. That's it, I'm gonna continue. I'm going to send it now. Got it? Send now to my foreclosure list. I don't want an early result, and I'm going to send it now. Now, here's the great thing about constant contact as well as most email. Okay, I can post it automatically to my uh, Facebook. I can post it automatically to my Twitter. And now it becomes my content to send out throughout the day. I do it a little differently. Okay. There it is. I'm going to copy that tagline. Right. I'm going to go on Facebook. Now, the, I always track my numbers. Okay. Nothing happens unless you can prove it by number. So I use Google short code for everything. Every link that I do goes through a short code. I want to know how many people clicked on it. Why do it? I always check my click rates. Now, when I say post to Facebook, let's go back to our list, right? We're going to tag Facebook, tag Twitter, tag LinkedIn, and post to my website, right? My email list came off of everybody that I've ever put a monster on. That's where my list came from, Jane. I don't care if this is your referral list. I don't care if this is your foreclosure list. Remember, you got to feed concurrent content. If I, if this was my referral list, I would be sending them the, hey, to you or anyone you know. But now I'm going to tag Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and my website. Got it? So for Facebook, we've talked about this before. I post it to groups. Uh, and what I do is open up my groups. And I will go inside of buy and sell property, buy and sell trade Los Angeles, and post it in there. I'm going to post it inside of all of the groups that are within my area, right? So let's just open one so you can see what it looks like. Again, make it easy on yourself. I have an auto poster that does most of this. It does it over an hour's period or so, right? I don't even know what that's doing. Uh, buy, sell, trade, Las Vegas. Let me get a good one. Tell what I posted to last. Why are there boxing ones? I have a boxing podcast. Classified ads for Los Angeles. Now this is going to give me an exp This is a huge group. This is a huge group. Okay. 18,000 members. I use Ninja Poster. Do you? Okay, here it is. Same one. Yeah. Do you? Need help with your loan modification because you missed your house payment. Click and read and call. By the way, if you've ever seen a post for any of my podcasts or any of my content, my call to actions, does everybody know what the first line always says? Click, share. There's three actions. Click, share, do something. Right? The third one's usually something funny, but usually I put click, read, click, share, click, listen, click, whatever. So click, read, and call are what I'm going to put. I'm going to drop the link. It'll give me an auto post. There it is. Then I'm going to post it. It's done. It's done. Now it's posted, so if somebody has, they're going to click on it. All of that, and then there's a number to call Kevin down at the bottom. 
Does this make sense to everybody? I didn't do anything crazy here. I'm going to post this in all of the classified buy and sell groups within Los Angeles, right? I'm also going to post it on my main timeline. Now, here's a big tip. I don't leave this stuff on my timeline hanging out there. It dirties up my timeline. I only want people landing on my Facebook seeing pictures of me with Diana or me with my daughter. Okay? I don't really want them to see business on my Facebook. So what I'm going to do, now there's ways to reach me on the left-hand side, right? Plenty of it. I'm going to hide it from my timeline. Read what it says. Are you sure you want to hide the post from your timeline? It will still appear on Facebook. Got it? I don't like messy stuff on my timeline. I just don't. I have other places for it, like Lee Hanish here. Let's keep going. I got to put it on Twitter still, right? I got to send out a tweet. Tweet. Okay. Got to do LinkedIn, same thing. Google Places, same thing. My day's done. That's it. I just posted across the board. Now, I would probably be posting in about, to be realistic, a as we are speaking, it's probably being posted on my Ninja poster in about 50 places on Facebook. So let me tell you what my exposure number is for Kevin. My product is Kevin, the homeowner advocate, just like the rest of you. That's all you are. Kevin's exposure number for today will be in the range of five to 10,000 people. Want proof? Here's something that nobody can do in my line of work but me. Here's why I use Google. Okay, it's currently at zero, right? Let's refresh it. If one person clicked, I've already won the game. Five have already clicked it. I'm ahead of the game. Are there any questions for day one? Now, I'm, mind you, a ninja poster is an automatic posting system. I don't sit all day and post. Ninja Blaster, sorry, Ninja Blaster. Like 10 bucks a month. A little more advanced. How'd I do, Brendan? You're into this kind of stuff. Did I just cover it pretty well? Now, if I put this in more places, my exposure number level goes up. And it's all call to action, isn't it? It's 100% call to action. Are there questions about day one? We're going to go about another 15. You have 312 groups. I have five or 600 groups. I'm pretty crazy. Um, we have about another 15 minutes to go. David has people in his office. Good question, James. Does David have those calls live? Now, David's talked about running all these funnels, right? And he hires companies that do all this stuff for him. He has agents in his office take those calls or return those calls. David does not, but yes. That's why I have a Kevin. I have a Kevin. All right, we're at day one. So let's go back. What am I doing tomorrow? I'm just creating content. I'm not sending an email, and I'm not calling anybody. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'm just creating content. Let's go back to my website and take a look at what content actually looks like. Do, do, do. All right, what is content? The national DQ rate set by live feed. What you guys are really missing on the front page here, we're talking about Lee Honish, the monster salesman, as the product. Keep track. I know I'm switching back and forth. Remember, there are different products that I'm showing, different people or things that I'm marketing. Does that make sense? Lee Honish has his own email list. Okay? Yes, I do online retargeting. I'm going to show it to you right now. Ready, Gloria? Okay, what you're looking at on the front of my blog is content. 
It's the national DQ rate set on a live feed. But this right here are my keywords. And the reason my keywords show up, it's the only actual thing that's live within this post. I've been trying to turn this funnel off to see how many, how long it takes to turn off the funnel. I'm currently at about 30 days and my funnel still hasn't stopped producing, right? We talked about this. I'm still doing about 3,000 hits per day on my website. It seems to be slowing down by the 11th. My last post was on the 13th. So it feels like it's kind of slowing down a little bit. Kind of? Kind of. But I'm trying to see, like, I need documented proof. So here's your question about online retargeting. There are, there's only one thing I want people to click on this page. I mean, there's plenty of things to click on any website. But all this whole post is, is the, you know, uh, the FRED delinquency rate, where you can basically go year to year and look at delinquency, delinquency rates all the way back to 91. So it's basically as long as I've been in the business. I love the fact that they're still saying that, oh, we're at 10-year lows. I guess, I mean, 2006, 2007, yeah, I mean, you're almost there. I mean, we're, 2008 is where we are really. We're matched with 2008. Nine years, I guess. So I guess their numbers aren't horribly wrong. We're probably, I've seen the newer numbers. I think we're at around three, nine or three, six. We're a little bit lower than what we actually are. Now, here are my keywords. Lee Honish, real estate market, marketing, and hashtag Honish report. Those are my keywords. I have back, I have uh, priority backlinks to Yahoo, Google, and Bing. They go on to every single post. I'm also tagged in my Facebook, Google, Twitter, and LinkedIn accounts as well on this. There are places to like and share and even read my Twitter feed that are on my website. I think they're important. What I really want people to do, click and look at the delinquency rate, then come up here and get former bank training. This is your retargeting, Gloria. Here's the retargeting. Watch a live webinar replay. If they click anywhere right around here, where's it going to take them? Right into uh, How the Monster Works webinar replay with an Apply Now button to Buy the Monster. Make sense? Now, what's the difference between this and them filling out a form to find out the value of their home? What I create content-wise is the bait, okay? So I go on every day and I find an article that is germane to the monster's message. I work in delinquent homeowners. Got it? So here's the Hurricane Harvey could cause 300,000 mortgage delinquencies. And by the way, they're all scheduled to hit next month. Everybody's talking about it. Here's the article. The whole article is a JPEG. We've talked about this on previous calls. I copy this and I paste it and I turn it into a picture. No different than really what this is, is a giant terminology that you guys would understand. It's a giant meme. Does that make a little more sense? It's just a giant photo. You can click anywhere on this page, literally, and it's going to drive you to the same link. But the link, it's to learn about pre-foreclosure listings. Here's your redirect. There's your webinar. There's your apply now button. Again, no different on how it's done. I take the link. I copy the link. Once it's posted on my website, I go to Google. I shorten the code. I copy the shortened code. Let's get an update on how my, uh, I'm up to seven. Killing it, by the way, on that post. And all it takes is one person to call Kevin for help, right? Win-win. All right. I go to Facebook. I will generally write something clever, like, uh, Remember, there are keywords like hashtag hurricane relief or any of those. 
those all do work and people do search for them. So I put a little bit of work in.